in this video i want to solve some interesting examples of the congruences and here i have considered these three problems the first problem asks find the remainders when 2 to the power 50 and 41 to the power 65 are divided by 7. the second problem asks what is the remainder when this sum is divided by 4 and the third problem asks prove that the integer this is divisible by 39. So all are quite similar because we are asking about the divisibility or the remainder. So let us see how we can solve these problem with the congruences. So in the first problem, I want to find whenever 2 to the power 50 is divided by 7, what is the quantity that should come here as a remainder? And the second, uh, we wanted to know what is 41 to the power 65. This is congruent to dash modulo 7. So these are the two things we want to find because we've been asked to find the remainder. Let us see for the first case. When 2 to the power 50 is congruent to uh, dash modulo 7. So let's start from the basic list. We know 2 to the power 1 is congruent to 2 modulo 7. This is correct because 2 minus 2 is 0 and 7 divides 0. Then 2 to the power 2, this is congruent to 4 modulo 7. This is also correct. And then 2 to the power 3, which is going to be 8. And we know 8 is going to be congruent to 1 modulo 7 because 8 minus 1 is 7 and 7 divides 7. So now since we got a 1 here and we got uh, 2 to the power something here so now we can raise the power 2 to the power 3 and then raise the power 16 on both side so this is congruent to 1 and on this side we got 2 to the power 48 congruent to 1 modulo 7 and since we want to reach to 2 to the power 50 so multiply by 2 to the power 2 again on both side we can multiply by any constant on both side so this left hand side will become 2 to the power 50 and the right hand side is 4 modulo 7 so 4 act as the remainder when 7 divides 2 to the power 50. So this is the solution for the first case. Now let us look at the solution for the second case. 41 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 7 as 41 minus 1. So this means 7 divide 42. So this is correct. So when this minus 1 turns onto this side, 41 minus of minus 1. So this congruence is true. Now since we already have a 1 which is a very nice number uh, if I want to raise the power. It will not give us any another quantity. It will either give a plus 1 or a minus 1. I am going to raise this even power. So this 41 to the power 64 congruent to minus 1 to the power 64 modulo 7. And so here I will get 41 to the power 64 congruent to plus 1 modulo 7. Now since I required 65 in the power. So let us multiply one more time with the 41. So on the right hand side also I have to multiply by this constant 41. And so this side it will become 41 to the power 65. But this 41 I have already proved that this is congruent to minus 1. So it is like A is congruent to B, B is congruent to C. So here I am replacing this 41 with minus 1 modulo 7. And because I want to leave remainder. Remainder is always a non-negative uh, integer. So here minus 1 is congruent to 6 modulo 7. So 6 act as the remainder when 7 divide 41 to the power 65. In second problem we want to know when this sum is divided by 4 what is the remainder. Now here it is a bit tricky because here the modulo 4 is uh, given. So what I will do I will divide my sum into the block of 4. So if let's consider like this one and we consider 4 to the power m plus 5 to the power 5 plus 6 to the power 5 plus 7 to the power 5 plus 8 to the power 5 and repeat. And then we can have something uh, 97 to the power 5, 98 to the power 5 plus 99 to the power 5 plus 100 to the power 5 is congruent to something modulo 4. This is what I actually wanted to know. Now let's keep these into the block of 4 and then we will see that all, uh, once we solve this particular block, others are going to immediately follow up. So let's see that 1 raised to power 5, this is 1 only. And so this is congruent to 1 modulo 4. 2 to the power 5. 2 to the power 5 is 32. 32 is congruent to 0 modulo 4 because 32 is divisible by 4. Then 3 to the power 5. This I can write it as 3 square into 3 uh, square into 3. So I need a total power of uh, 3 to the power 5. So this 3 square which is 9. 9 is congruent to 1. Similar this 3 square I am replacing it by 1 and this 3 I am keeping it as it is modulo 4. So basically what I am doing is I am repeatedly apply. I could have written 3 square which is 9. 9 is congruent to 1 modulo 
4. So this way and then again we have 3 square is congruent to 1 modulo 4. So now you can multiply these two congruences. So left hand side will become 3 square into again uh, 3 square and then the right hand side become 1. So once you solve this then we also know 3 is congruent to 3 and you can further multiply. So this replacement is basically possible with the repeated multiplication. So now we have 3 to the power 5 this is congruent to 3. So we can simply write that this is congruent to 3 modulo 4. Then uh, we have 4 to the power 5. So 4 to the power 5 uh, as you can see this is a power of 4 only. 4 multiplied 5 times. So this is congruent to 0 modulo 4. So we have solved first block and now let's look at the second block. This is 5. We know that 5 is congruent to 1 modulo 4. So this means whatever I raise the power of 5 the same power is raised for 1. So 1 is I have already solved. So that means 5 to the power 5 is same as 1 to the power 5. So we can say 5 to the power 5 is same as congruent to 1 modulo 4. This is going to be same. And then 6 to the power 5. This is same as going to be 2 to the power 5. Because 6 is congruent to 2 modulo 5. So if 6 is congruent to 2 modulo 5, I can raise their power. So whatever is the result for 2 to the power 5, this is same as 6 to the power 5. And 2 to the power 5 we have already calculated. Similarly, 7 is congruent to 3 modulo 4. So I can raise the power of 7 to the power 5. This is congruent to 3 to the power 5 modulo 4. And then we have 8. 8 is congruent to 0 or I can simply say this is congruent to 4 modulo 4. So here I can say 8 to the power 5 is congruent to 4 to the power 5 which is further congruent to 0 modulo 5. So in the same way that means each block is going to come congruent to the first block. And similarly others will follow. So similarly we can say that 97 this is congruent to 1 modulo 4. And then 98 which is congruent to 2 modulo 4. And then 99 this is congruent to 3 modulo 4 and 100 which is congruent to 0 modulo 4 and then we can raise their power to the 5 so we know that each of the block is coming up now just using this one let's just let me to call this particular uh, congress as star so star look and replace each of the four block value so when we replace each of the four block value what we can get is each block is giving me 1 plus 0 plus 3 plus 0. These were the four value that I have calculated from this previous block. And the same value it is going to repeat in the next blocks also. So how many times this will come? 25 times because we were having the total numbers starting from 1 to 100. And this is congruent to dash modulo 4. Now we can see that we can just simply sum. Uh, 1 is summing 25 times so this is 25 and then we have 3 is also summing 25 times so we can write 25 into 3 so that is the value which is going to come here and then we can take 25 common and inside we got 1 plus 3 modulo 4 so this value is congruent to 25 into 4 modulo 4 which is further congruent to 25 into 4 that is 100 modulo 4 and 100 we know that this is congruent to 0 because 100 is fully divisible by 4 so the remainder corresponding to this sum that we were looking is a 0 so once we sum so the remainder is 0 this sum is fully divisible it is not leaving us any remainder and hence the solution is remainder this is equal to 0 in my third problem we want to show that 39 divide 53 to the power 103 plus 103 raised to power 53 or in terms of the congresses we could have written 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53 is congruent to 0 modulo 39 so once we leave a 0 uh, remainder here that means it is perfectly divisible now uh, what i want is i uh, since here we can see that it's a composite number so i'll write this into a prime factorization and so we can write this as 53 to the power 103 plus 10353 is divisible by 13 into 3. So what I'm going to use this property is that if A divides some number C and B divides some number C and it is given that the product uh, GCD of A and B is equal to 1. Then their product AB divide C. So using this property what I will show is that 13 divide 53 by uh, to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53 and 3 divide 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53 if both hold and we know that 13 and 3 gcd is equal to 1 
This will imply that 39 will divide this quantity 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53. So this is what I will show now. So we will, this is enough to show that this and this divide. So our result will hold. So now let's show that and let me to call this as 1 and let me to call this as 2 and let's call this as 3 so that we follow. So to prove 1, we can say 53 is congruent to 1 modulo 13 because 53 minus 1 is 52 and 13 fours are 52. Now simply raise the power 103. This is going to be congruent to 1 modulo 13. This is one thing. And now let's see the second. So because we know that 53, 103 is congruent to 1 modulo 13. Now also look at the second integer that is 103. 103 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 13 because 13 into 8 is equal to 104. So whenever we want 104, we just take it at minus 1. So this congruence is true. And then 103 raised to power 53. Now because the power has odd numbers, so this will give me minus 1 modulo 13. Now once I have uh, this 53 to the power 103 congruent to 1 and 103 uh, to the power 53 congruent to minus 1, add these two congruences. Whenever we add these two congruences, what we get is, we will get 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53. This is congruent to, on this side we got 1 and here we got minus 1. So this will become 0 modulo 13. So this proves our first case that 13 divide 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53. Now let's look at this second case. And in the second case, we want to consider with respect to modulo 3. So 53 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 3 as 54 is divisible by 3. So 53 to the power 103 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 3. This is one thing. And the second case was 103 congruent to 1 modulo 3. Because we can see that 102 is divisible by 3. This minus, uh, this one is subtracted here will give it 102. So 103 raised to power 53 is again congruent to 1 modulo 3. Now add these two congruences. When we add these two congruences, the left hand side is 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53, which is congruent to 0 modulo 3. So this will imply that 3 divide 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53. So these first and second result are proof as we have seen. So we can directly say that as GCD of 13 and 3 is equal to 1, we can directly say that 39 divide 53 to the power 103 plus 103 to the power 53. That proves our last problem also.